Hemingway African Gallery um, has been here for 40 years. We opened in January 1975 with uh, Gregory Hemingway as my partner in those days. He was uh, the youngest son of Ernest Hemingway. Half of the gallery is uh, mainly focused on Shona sculpture. It's, uh, it's where I come from in uh, Zimbabwe. It's an art form, that one of the newest art forms on the, on the market. Um, you'll find pieces in the MoMA now. Uh, it started in the early 60s. There's a reef running through Zimbabwe where you only find these quality of, of stone. These artists never went to school, they never went to college, they never studied. They virtually get a tool in their hand and they chip away and form these amazing sculptures. Many types of stone from green opal, which is a, a softer, to the very hard spring stone, which is iron ore, the black stones. We are the largest and we were the first dealer in Shona sculpture. In the States, I brought it out in early, the early 1975. Uh, we have huge monumental pieces, uh, some weighing as much as two tons. There was a quarry in the northern part of Zimbabwe where two white school teachers who were sculptors and artists just started to give out tools and a, and a school formed there at this village called Tanganengi. What we call the first generation artists. They were the first ones who started this this whole movement of Shona sculpture. And of course there was about 35 of them there and we only have two left that are still alive. And this is our it's kind of museum corner, our magic corner. These pieces are not for sale. Um, um, <clears throat> Henry Munyaradzi, who was probably one of the most famous uh, artists, uh, Nicholas Mukumberwana, uh, Fanazani Akudu, um, who has just passed away. Uh, we got uh, Sylvester Mubayi. He's still alive. And we also have um, Josiah Manzi, who is still alive. So we have two artists that, of the first generation that are still alive. So we still sell their works, but uh, the ones that passed away, we don't sell their works. And then you go on to the second generation artists. And many of them have also passed away. AIDS devastating in Zimbabwe. But, uh, so we lost a lot of the very good second generation, and now this third generation. Uh, and we have a wide range of maybe about 30, 40 different artists here in the gallery.